children of the world reach out to you when all the boys and girls can laugh and play come and chase the clouds away songs I mean it just gets you more excited and it makes you want to work even harder right but there are more sacrifices that also come with it that we had no idea about <laughs> we didn't know that we were gonna be around away from our family so much and you know what I'm saying get to miss out on the homecoming and the proms the teenage stuff you know that happened during your teenage years of course but it's the, all worth it like Kelly said the good always the bad definitely yeah Like at the spur of a moment, it was something that had been going on. It was things that we were noticing. For it was years. conflicts that were going on. Yeah. The for departure years. was like. Without you. I was like, I was first like of all, I was like, nah, you boys, shut up. I was like, hold on. I was like, it's not true. Then I got another, then we got another call and we heard it again. Then the next thing I'm looking at BET. The premiere of Destiny's Child's new video, Say My Name. Mm -hmm. oh, that's you. How was that? With Between Beyonce right. and Kelly. At all. We didn't have any arguments. Latoya and I, we never quit the group. Never quit. We never quit. Never left. Never even said anything about, about quitting. quitting the group. We simply wanted to disaffirm our personal management agreement with our manager. And because of it, this happened. Wow. Seven years down the drain. Just like that. I think that they had to have been devastated. My self-esteem was very, very low. Beyonce is very talented, and so I was like, well, I'm not sounding like that. That's my, not my thing, so maybe I can't sing. In 2004, LaToya auditioned for Capitol Records, and the label offered her a deal immediately. They love my music. They said it was something different. I was like, oh, she could sing. What I really liked about it was it, it wasn't really a Destiny Child kind of sound. It was more urban. It was more her. LaToya released her self-titled album in July 2006. It shot straight to the top of the charts. Once I found out I was number one, I think that's when it hit, and I felt like all the hard work paid off. Like I was fine. not yet healed. When you have a friendship that you've cherished for that amount of time, to watch it go away is like a divorce or a death. It's something that I've grown to understand. It could have been prevented by communication. We were very young, so we didn't know the best way to communicate. But I take the hard work, everything I learned about the road, everything I learned about the music business, I take that with me in my solo career. Yes, it
To give him a chance Thought he'd be a better man Now I'm sitting here And I'm so confused Cause I keep fighting myself with you
Happy birthday to me. Oh, you will? I mean, since she's gonna sing, Omar's birthday is in the building. Where's Omar at? I can't find Omar. All right, this whole thing is just. Happy birthday, Shabbat.
I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, yeah. After DC, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, of course, at that time I was about 18 years old. Mm -hmm. So you know, and I hadn't lived my life as a normal teenager. Yeah. I hadn't gone to college. I hadn't done you know all the things that a normal teenager would do. Right. Um, so all I knew was DC. All I knew yeah. was the group at that time. And like, even coming out of that, I wasn't the most secure person because mm -hmm. I had been so used to having a team mentality to think mm -hmm. of being a, you know, solo anything or going out on my own was very, very yeah. scary, scary, like terrifying, not even, it was terrifying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I found myself, even when it, the thought of singing made me angry. Yeah. I didn't believe I had a voice. I didn't yeah. believe I could sing. I didn't mm. believe that um, I would ever return to the music industry. Um, mm. But make a long story short, after surrendering mm. and getting to know God on a whole nother level, and I know I'm about to go spiritual, but no, like fine, honestly, yeah. you know, after really learning or building a relationship, a real honest relationship with God, I learned to surrender, get out of my own way, mm -hmm. stop living in fear and allow him to direct my yes, path. I'm gonna tell you, during my journey, I was staying at people's houses. I'll never, I've never oh, said wow. this. I've never told these stories before. I slept in a car in LA. 
Wow. While I was making my first album. Not a lot of nights, but a few. Yeah. You know what I'm wow. saying? Yeah. Water jug, gallon of water. When I was staying, a, <laughs> staying in hotels, couldn't really afford anything else. So I was like yeah. drinking a gallon of water and buying the microwavable oodles and noodles. And I was like cooking them on the coffee pot in the hotel. I can't believe I'm crying. Oh my God. And then I went out for a roll. My first role ever, which was Preacher's Kid. And I got it. Wow. And that's what got me out of that hotel. And I, from Preacher's Kid, got a line that I met. Tank went back, started doing my second album. Yeah, it was a lot. Wow. But I was uncomfortable for a minute. 